So we're going to paint this head of a stylized character. And what I suggest is that you make a layer on top of the drawing and that you paint on the local colors, such as flesh and say her hair is brown, but paint them in a shadowy tone and try to add shadowy nuance to them as well. So it gets a little cooler on one side, it's a little warmer on the other side, and then uh, gradually work in more saturated flesh tones. So as you can see, we're very shadowy on the, on the left side and we are uh, a little more saturated and a little more colorful on the right side where the light's coming from. And uh, I often, for things like the eyes, I get out my lasso tool and simply lasso the, the shape of the eyes and then paint the blue color in. And now I'm trying to uh, just to add uh, enriched flesh tones, uh, like uh, above the upper lip, for example, on the forehead, where light would hit the character the strongest. So we're essentially painting this character as if it were a 3D model. Now, uh, the whites of the eyes, very cartoon-like in white, and uh, the eye color might be a little, might be a little too light blue, but uh, um, I'll go in now with darker tones and I'll start doing the, the eyelash as an eyeliner uh, and try to get the eyelids to pop out. I'll um, adjust the shadow on the nose. We want the nose to pop out. The c c tones of the hair will be very dark on the left side and will be lighter as they come around on the right side. And uh, so I'm hopping from dark tone to dark tone in the hair, come down to the little shirt she's wearing and again, you can see I painted it in shadow first and then add the more enriched green color later. I um, then um, uh, looked at this and, and thought we need to refine the hair. And uh, we have, we're pretty close on the face, but um, now, now it's time to put in the eyelashes and then uh, I like the way the colors are looking and, and I'll polish the hair a little bit and use my lasso tool to get some streaks into the hair as if the hair is very neatly combed. And um, the, the, the nuanced colors to the face I think look pretty good, but I'm not sure that we've really nailed it. And as you, anytime you see that little circle that means I'm sampling by hitting the, the uh, option button with a brush tool. So let's just refine this and soften some of the edges here and ask ourselves if we've captured the, the essence of that drawing that uh, I showed you at the beginning. And I think for the most part, it's coming along. We're keeping the, the shadows very light and airy. And I think that's important when you're painting a child or a pretty girl or something like that. You want the you don't really want a lot of heavy shadows. You'd like to keep put a lot of air in the shadows. So uh, as, as a result, they're very soft. And now uh, I'll adjust the tones of the lips a little bit. We'll refine the eyes here. We'll get maybe a little bit of shadow under the eyelid. Uh, just some final adjustments. But um, we may have to take a look at the drawing again. At some point you should get out the drawing and then look at your painting and see if you've really done justice to the drawing. And then now I'll compare to the drawing and I can tell something's been lost. There's a, I don't really have the pouty lip very well, so I'll cut out. I'll put this drawing right over the painting for a second here and we'll just kind of look. And uh, yeah, some proportions, as I place it properly, you'll find some proportions have changed. I think it's okay that the eyes are a little bigger. Uh, I'm all right with that. But the thing that concerns me is I've lost something in the nose and lower lip. I'll, I'll eliminate everything except the drawing of the, of the nose and lower lip. So I have to place it very carefully. 
and then uh, I'll also make the layer into a linear burn layer. And when I do that, the, the dark pencil tones will absorb the color underneath. So I think it's important to capture that because the nose makes a funny little upturn, which is typical of a little kid. And then I have to go in and do a little repainting on the nose. And uh, I think there's a little bit under the chin that I need to get rid of as well. Now it's funny, um, a lot of this is laid in very, very quickly and then you can end up spending you know, an hour, you know, working on some final refinement. And that's not unusual when you're doing uh, a, a um, you're, you're trying to do a real, uh, you know, 3D look at this. So I changed the, the character of the layer to linear burn and you'll notice the lines that are on it now pick up the color underneath. Then I'll make a layer on top of that linear burn layer and I'll just refine the nose and try to get the exact shape of the nose. Uh, there, it's funny, but the nose is actually a lot more pronounced than I imagined it to be as I was working. Let's see, we'll add a little highlight. And do you see how the nose has a cute little upturn, like a little little pixie or a little, little fairy or something like that? That's a kind of a cute little kid thing to do. And it helps the, helps the drawing look, uh, look a little more kid-like. I'm also emphasizing the, the nose as it comes down. There's sort of a sweep, ski slope you might call it, upward, yeah, like that. And you can see it sweeps upward. And then I've also have to adjust the, the pouty lip below in, in making it more of a lip color, uh, some refinements. So the nose I think is working pretty well right now. Now I'll go down to the lip and just soften it. It looks a little bit abrupt. And I might like to get, uh, yeah, not, not quite as strong a lines in it. And I'm just going back and forth from the, from the nose to the lip below. Probably define the cheeks a little more now that the nose is a little more pronounced. And again, I'm just using the rough brush uh, in a very uh, small size. And uh, then I'll get out the uh, smudge tool and I'll just smear those uh, uh, lines that I make with the rough brush. So there's the smear tool smoothing it out. And there we have our finished face. And you can see the pouty lip, the little sweep to the nose. I darkened the eyes, made a little deeper blue, and we've got a nice little girl. I hope you enjoyed it.